good, beer is good, beer is good, and stop. What's going on everybody? Welcome to this episode of the Beer Chasers. I'm Preston, and today we're going to be trying the Dunkelweizen that we brewed in the last episode. So thanks to the magic of television, the beer is already fermented, it's already bottle conditioned, it's already carbonated, and it's ready to go to try today. So we're going to crack it open, kind of see how we did, maybe talk about what we can improve. So uh, stick around, check it out. So in our hands here we have the uh, Dunkelweizen that we brewed. Let's go ahead and go for a review. Look at the appearance. Um, I mean, to me it looks great. Um, nice, nice white head, a little brown, a little off-color brown there. Um, Color-wise, you know, it's got like that brownness, a little bit of, a little bit of red to it. It looks like a Dunkel to me. Um, you know, trying to be be fair here, I guess, but I I give it a four out of five. I think it looks great. Not perfect, but um, looks nice. Good smell. I like it. Um, definitely the, the Weichelfan kind of yeast comes out, hits you. Some of that banana kind of clove. Um, I do smell some of the sweetness, I think, from the honey malt. Comes through pretty nicely. Yeah, smells nice. Um, I'd go three and a half, maybe four. It, it's not pungent. It's not like a, a celebrator. Some of those beers you smell, it's like, oh, you just get some of that nice bready sweetness. Um, this isn't quite pungent, but I think it's, it's better than, than average. Well, I guess the best part, the taste. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. It's good. Um, definitely not perfect. It's missing... Let me take another sip here real quick. I think it's missing some of the, um, the maltiness up front. But after you swallow, you get a nice bit of that, that sweetness. Um, I think the honey, the honey malt's coming through pretty strong. I think that's a little strong. Um, but yeah, it tastes nice. I mean, it, it tastes like a half of Weizen, uh, you know, a dark half of Weizen. Um, I'm struggling for words here. Again, I'm trying to be unbiased because this is my beer. You know, I want to be fair and, and not just, you know, a fanboy myself, of course. But um, it's, uh, it's, it's a little lacking something. I just can't put my finger on it. Um, again, maybe just some of that that maltiness and sweetness. Again, I'm getting sweetness from the honey malt, but maybe I need some additional caramel or, or some other sweeter malt in here. I mean, it is good though. I think it's within style. I don't think it's far off at all. Um, I would rate the taste of three. I think, I think it's right what I expect it to be. Um, but it just needs, I don't know if it's the chocolate or the caramel or a little more breadiness to it. Just a little more kind of balls in that malt. Um, but it's definitely not a Hefe. It definitely tastes, you know, a little sweeter than a Hefeweizen. So I think we're on target. Uh, Mouthfeel, I think it's a little thin. Um, a little thinner than I remember some of the other ones. Uh, Carbonation-wise, I think it's great. I mean, it, it's right on spot on where it's at. Head retention is pretty good. Um, give me a sip here. Yeah, I think it's... I mean, just a touch thin, just a touch thin, um, not too bad. Uh, mouthfeel, I'd go three, you know, it's what I expect it to be. Again, it's a little thin, but um, definitely within style. So I think overall, where does that rate the, uh, the homebrew Dunkelweizen? I'd say it's in the 3.25. I think it's a, a touch above average, maybe, um, especially considering the homebrew scale, at least, you know. Would this fare next to Weichstefan or um, Celebrator or, you know, Paul or Salvatore? Or not, sorry, that's a, a double block. You know what I'm saying? Um, would, it, would it stand up to something commercial? Probably not. You could probably pick this out in a lineup, but um, I think it's a damn good attempt. And you know, I think the recipe, you know, kind of talking about that now, um, I would dial the honey malt back a little bit because that's, I think, the the overpowering sweetness is that honey malt. So maybe bring the honey malt down from uh, 12 ounces to eight or even four. Um, maybe add a little more chocolate malt because maybe that'll bring out some of that, you know, kind of chocolate sweetness a little bit. Um, the special B, I'm not really sure if I'm getting any of that. I mean, it's in here at eight ounces, which is a typical, you know, dosing of special B. Um, I'm not really getting any of the raisiny, plummy aspects that, that can kind of bring out some of that dark caramel. 
So maybe we up the special B, but you know, again, as I think I mentioned in the, the first video, I don't know if special B really even has a place in this recipe because that's kind of a Belgian malt and this is a German malt. Um, you know, it's half the fun of home brewing. You know, there really aren't any rules as long as you stay within a style guideline. I think color-wise and flavor within that guideline, but um, you know, is it classic to put special B in a, in a Dunkelweizen? Probably not. Are there breweries who do it? I'm sure there are. So, um, you know, it's kind of one of those things, you know, do, do what works for you. Um, but I think that that's the, the biggest change I want to do is somewhere in that caramel balance, there's got to be some way that I can kind of up more of that kind of caramel sweetness, you know, whether it's a, a darker caramel malt or maybe more caramel 60 or maybe more special B, um, but definitely less honey, maybe a touch more chocolate and just trying to find that caramel. Um, and what I would do also is I might put a little more flake malt in there, so maybe two pounds of flake a week this time instead of one pound to kind of up the, the body and the balance a little bit. So there you go. I mean, that, that's the review on the Dunkelweizen. I would brew this recipe with the tweaks I just mentioned again for sure. I think it's definitely in the ballpark. You know, I don't even think it's in the outfield. I think maybe we're on the third baseline here, you know, in the second tier somewhere. You know, we're definitely not on home plate yet, but um, very good attempt. You know, I love the style. You know, I've been wanting to brew one forever. I've brewed a ton of Hefeweizens. And I said, you know what, let's go to the Dunkel this time. So um, I'm not disappointed. So uh, there you go. Let me know what you think about the recipe. If you guys have any tweaks or additions or uh, any comments on some of the stuff about the special B maybe. Or uh, just, you know, how would you have done it differently? Or did you like the recipe? Or do you plan on brewing the recipe? I'd love to hear it. Give us a comment, whether it's on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. You can email us. I'm always, always love to hear what you guys think. So, uh, yeah, send them on in. Whoa, we're going to wrap it up. I'm Preston. This is Beer Chasers. We'll see you later. Beer is done. Beer is done. Beer is done. And stop. Beer is good. Drink some beer! Beer!